Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizon series. Uh, now, this is the first episode I have recorded since um, TG Thor put that post on Reddit, and I got about a thousand new subs. So, thank you for everyone that saw that and subscribed to my channel. Uh, it was pretty crazy to see <laughs> the subs going up so fast. Um, but, uh, yeah, welcome to the channel and hope you enjoy the series. There are quite a few episodes to watch if you are just starting, but uh, yeah. Uh, there is very few English playthroughs of Greg Tech New Horizons, so I thought it would be cool. Um, since I love Greg Tech so much to do a series, and uh, yeah, we're almost... We're pretty much at the end game here, but uh, we've still got some ways to go. Um, for the super late game recipes. Um, so yeah, we'll see kind of where the pack ends up taking us. I'm not sure where I'm going to go from there after that, what pack I am looking at. So I'm always open to suggestions for new packs after the series finishes, or um, uh, maybe towards the end I may have to kind of go down to every other day or every you know, a few days for the pack, just because there's so little progression uh, when you are getting into these super expensive recipes. But uh, we're not quite there yet. Um, but, uh, like, for example, the Infinity uh, Armor, I think, would be fun. Um, it's a pretty cool-looking recipe. Um, but it might just take me some time to get some of the... Uh, the materials for it so like I said we may have to eventually drop down to you know every other day or every few days uh, I'll still be doing I'll probably start a new pack as well so it's kind of like alternating um, but yeah eventually this pack will be finished uh, just don't know when that's gonna be and we still have quite a bit um, to go I would like to kind of push this as far as I can um, so yeah, I don't know. We shall see. So last episode, we ended up getting to the deep dark. Check that off. Um, still looking at Neutron Collector and the HV Dynamo for the silver, because we're definitely not keeping up with the uh, the silver. It's all been turned into tin ingots here, as we can see. So lots of tin ingots. Um, so that is, yeah, that's still going. Just turning the, the tin dust back into silver. Yeah, the only thing I'm worried about, if I have that an HV, UHV Dynamo, that is a lot of power I'm using. So it kind of like defeats the purpose of uh, like running the four turbines, using the tin plasma to create power, but then I'm using it all to turn it back into so it's kind of like, I don't know, um, haven't, haven't fully decided on that. I'm still kind of debating uh, whether I want to replace that yet. Uh, I have turned off or, yeah, I stopped this from um, extracting. So eventually this will clear out and uh, we'll kind of stop with the using up all the silver. Um, for the moment, we have uh, about 12,000 buckets of silver at the moment. So, yeah, and this is still uh, taken away. Everything seems to be working pretty well. I think the ruthenium is still going. Yep, still chugging along. This process is like, I don't know, these processes are so different than anything we've done before because there's no like, you don't just process it all. Like all of the metallic powder, because you end up getting more of it back out of the process. So it's kind of crazy. Like, it just like feels like it's never ending, which is kind of cool, just different. Yeah. So like, that turned off. Doesn't that go in the, um, sifter? Oh, it's still going. I thought that 
The platinum salt was what went in the... Oh well, it's working. I don't need to worry about it too much. Isn't this goes to the sifter, I thought? Yeah. Is that just like... I feel like that's really slow, right? Oh, that's refined. Just kidding. That's refined salt dust. That is what you get after this, right? After it goes... Yeah, that's it's already been zipped. Okay, just kidding. Uh, anyway, that is just taken away. I don't need to keep talking about that. Um, so one of the things I kind of want to speed up here is the drill. And I think... Uh, why don't we... Yeah, just because there's so much in here, like... And I don't even really need any of this stuff, but I kind of need it. I don't feel like there's see there's the awakened draconium that we needed, um, and the platinum. So I don't know. We'll just kind of let that go. Although that is just gonna fill up my A system, won't it? Well, I have quite a bit of storage left. But uh, what I was thinking is uh, upgrading the drill. Why don't we go ahead and upgrade that to the UV? We're using IV, and I thought, why don't we go ahead and at least try? We have energy hatches, so why don't I throw a UV energy hatch on it? But obviously, we're going to have to change the power. And I think the quad reactor is probably the easiest. That's what I'm thinking. Um, we could just do the this one. Uh, it is two of those, which is quite expensive, and two of those. But uh, this is kind of like super end game stuff. So why not just go ahead and use this stuff? And uh, let's see how fast we can get the drill. I'm assuming that will increase the speed. <laughs> I actually don't know, though. That would be kind of funny if uh, I do... Um, upgrade it and it doesn't actually change. The only thing I'm a little worried about is I'm not going to be able to produce drilling fluid fast enough. Um, but uh, I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I may need to get a faster mixer or something. Um, but yeah, let me get this stuff crafted up and uh, we will come back. All right, uh, we are back, and I'm just crafting up the circuit portion of this. And uh, I thought, um, why don't we... I've been meaning to kind of do this for a little while now, but I think um, it's maybe time to start optimizing these recipes because they do take quite a while. They take about 30 minutes, I'd say, for something like this complicated. Um, but maybe it's time to start looking at the different things and seeing what I can optimize. I know the dusts are one of the biggest issues that I have um, because the, the multi-block mixer does not check the circuits by like the, um, the hatches. So there is lots of problems with conflicting recipes. Um, if you have like in um, iridium and osmium in there for like the uh, HSS dust, this one this requires uh, steel, iridium, and osmium, but I can't put that in the industrial mixer because then it'll create the osmiridium because that also requires iridium and osmium, and then all the recipes get screwed up and. Uh, Indium is another one that I have issues with. So what I've kind of done is just create, well, I had a mixer and um, I've put, you know, some of the conflicting recipes in there um, because these just don't work in the mixer. And copper is another one that has a few uses that gets screwed up. So um, mixers, we need to figure out the dust situation that is for sure so i think what i'm probably gonna do i'm probably gonna leave this here um because it's good for like creating ic2 coolant 
But I think for the most part, I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna craft up a bunch of mixers, I think. Like high tier mixers. Um, Cause that's only IV, that's quite slow. So maybe... I mean, this is, well, those aren't exactly cheap, but, uh... Yeah, I was thinking maybe... Maybe two... Where are we? There we go. Yeah, I mean, this isn't... Other than the circuits, it's really not... And crazy. Maybe I'll do two mixers. One for a circuit of one and one for a circuit of two. I'm thinking maybe that's what we'll do. Um, yeah, just to keep those separate. So let me write that down. A UV mixer. I guess times two, two X. I think we'll do that. Yeah, and um, I don't know what else. I've pretty much sped everything. The other thing that's really slow is the, um, the fusion reactor part. So in theory, I should really have like this stuff all I should have like a store of this. So I should be like, okay, keep 600 of these in stock and then, or a thousand. And then when you drop below that, create more. Um, so maybe, I mean, yeah, I think it's time to maybe start thinking about crafting another fusion reactor. Um, I'm gonna, I'll put that down here, but those aren't exactly something easy to craft up. Um, Cause it would need to be, Let me think, how would I, would I do? I guess I would do another one. I would save this for the, the expensive recipes, the crafting recipes, and then maybe create one that does the power. Although tin plasma needs to, yeah, I guess I would have to do tier three. I don't know that I'm going to put that down and kind of think about that. I think maybe tier three fusion reactor, another one, but that is quite expensive. Um, but I think that's kind of what I'm looking at. Everything else is kind of waiting for other things. Like all these are just waiting for stuff to get smelted. Well, why is that? Electrum should be going through. I wonder why that hasn't started. Sometimes I'm like, okay, why hasn't it created the flux electrum dust yet? What's it waiting for? I don't know. Anyway, uh, let me cut here and we will come back. Okay, and for the record, I left the mold ingot in the slot so the alloy smeltery recipes couldn't happen which is why uh, a bunch of these recipes got stuck um, but as we can see the dust is definitely like one of the slow parts so um yeah I think I'm actually gonna go with ZPM mixers instead of UV I think but then I every time I say that I'm like start doubting myself um, I gotta figure out what I want my final kind of power situation to be. What tier do I want to have running kind of like underneath is I'm kind of thinking UHV power. Cause I think if I have 16 amps of UHV able to run underneath here, I think that would fulfill any sort of power needs. Um, that I can think of. I don't know what I would need that would need more than that. 
But then I'm like, oh, should I just go for like the top tier? Maybe I should go for <laughs> more than that. I don't know. It just, uh, I don't know. Because the one thing with upgrading the power thing underneath, which is a bit annoying, is having to make sure there's transformers on every single building kind of thing. So that gets a bit of a pain. Um, but I'm... I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do for like my final kind of build for the the world. And I'm thinking I think UHV would probably be plenty. Like this stuff over here is probably never going to be upgraded. Like all this down here are they work fine. Uh for what they do like i i store like 4000 silicon rubber so i don't need this to be faster cuz it just fills up when i'm not using it and i don't use it that often kind of thing and all this stuff is fast enough i don't need to upgrade it um so yeah that's kind of all this stuff is fine down here so i have like a transformer right here i think i would just kind of leave that it's it's all the other stuff that I kind of have to work out. But uh, anyway, I just thought I would uh, point that out now that <laughs> my alloy smelter is working again. It took me way too long to figure out why that wasn't working, unfortunately. And we are back and I'm just crafting up the two mixers um, so I can get this kind of set up here just to improve this I think for the next big craft I wanted to do it before uh, before I um I did the build generators because those are quite complicated <clears throat> all right so those in this machine were all the I think uh the I would have to I'm gonna have to like go through these one by one, but uh, I'm pretty sure these are like all two yeah that's so that's a two um I'm not gonna go through these all while recording, but uh like what about yttrium yeah, that's also a two. Some of these might not actually have one like they don't I don't think either of these have a number. I might have one and the, the superconductor I like this one. Oh, that's actually a two as well those all look like they're two all right so actually that kind of works out I'm gonna leave those there for now I guess I should no, I'm going to change all these to the better ones. I just have to go through it. Um, where did I put the superconductor? There, that one. Those will all go in there, I think. And um, I'm going to have to, pretty much sooner than later, figure out where I want UV machines to go. Because obviously the power comes in down there. It's not really set up because this building is quite old so it's not set up for the uv stuff yeah this is definitely definitely not ideal um I'm like is this how i want to i mean yeah this is going to be like so ugly down here <laughs> Uh, like that's not really how I want this. And like put interface, yeah, that's horrible. But um, yeah, I got to kind of rearrange. Actually, we have one right there. That's kind of nice. Oops. I just wanted to get this set up with these recipes because these things get so clogged up or the big expensive recipes take forever with those and this is 
That is the ugliest of cabling. <laughs> it looks so bad under here. Oh well, I'm not going to stress about it right this second. I always say I'm going to change it, and then 100 episodes later, it still hasn't changed. Alright, but there's that. And, uh... I think I just need copper, actually. I need two of these. These things are really expensive, unfortunately. And, uh... Ah, emeralds, that's right. Some tantalum. And copper, I think, right? Saw copper. Yep, lots of copper. So, can't quite craft it up right this second. Man, that's... Wait, that's... It's not the, uh, that's ruined it. That's not the ruthenium. How much ruthenium does it need? I'm trying to find ruthenium. I have plenty of it ish. I have 1700, but if that's going to use like 500, that's going to go through it pretty quick. All right, um, let me get some of this. Yeah, this is going to be an issue because there is a tantalite vein, but it hasn't got to it yet. That's Once it gets to it, we'll be fine, but until then, um, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Anyway, let me, uh, yeah, I guess cut here and uh, we'll come back in a sec. And I am back and I have finally got enough copper. I have to go drop a... A miner in the nether for the tetrahedrite, but I just kind of wanted to show that, uh, yeah, this is much quicker. Yeah, definitely uh, much better with the uh, the mixer so far. Everything seems to be working out, um, but this is going to take a long time. Uh, this was at three hours at one point, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, I'll take note of what needs to be improved. Um, I think most of it is okay-ish. Um, the biggest thing is smelting. But uh, yeah, we'll come back and uh, we'll see what happens. And we are back. Almost done. Crafting this up, just waiting for the fusion reactor. So definitely going to have to figure out a solution to that because that, I think it's been about 40 minutes I've been waiting on that. Um, so definitely could probably figure out something with that. But uh, one thing I need to do here, and I just realized... I had... Uh, some titanium in there it got a little mixed up so i've got to sort that out but um the black plutonium the mericium that we we're using to create um the growth medium is uh definitely which one is it raw growth medium yeah so we are doing this one and it gets you you know 500 or whatever um but there is actually a much better recipe, and that is this one, which is 32. And it gets you 32. And it's just tiny piles of cosmic neutronium and tiny inf piles of infinite, yeah, catalyst dust. And now the these are much easier to get since we're creating that in the neutron collector and this we're mining up. I think uh, we can go ahead and replace this with this better recipe. Um, I'm a little worried about this though it's zpm does is that gonna fit in a zpm recipe i don't know if it actually has yeah because this one only has sixteen thousand. i don't think this is actually gonna fit in a chemical reactor it may have to go in a large chemical reactor which how do I want to do this? I can probably, I'll disassemble it if it doesn't work, which I'm like 90% sure it's gonna not, not going to work. But uh, yeah, we'll just disassemble it basically for the circuits back. Um, let's see if, let's see if this works though. 
Let me break this. Ooh, that's that's an issue. <laughs> um, how am I gonna do this? That we'll close. I guess we'll do we'll do it like this, maybe. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, Nikwada. I'm like worried this is gonna connect. I don't want it to. With that, it scares me a little bit. <laughs> Why don't I uh, disconnect this just in case? an aquatic cable. I wonder if they're like, since they're different tiers, it like doesn't connect unless you force it to. I don't know. Totally guessing. Haven't uh, really tested it out. I always get nervous when I have different tiers next to each other. Especially ZPM and HV. Alright, so all this for something that's probably not even gonna work. I'm pretty sure that does not have a 32 bucket tank. But, uh. Actually, that's gonna be off anyway. Uh, let's try. I know the assembler gets bigger, does this? Nope. All right, so I'm. That's not gonna work. Well, that put a little wrench in that plan. Uh, let me just uh, double check here. Oh my goodness, if I can even find it. Oh, I guess it would have to be. Yeah, it'll be like that. And then infinity catalyst dust. Ooh, does that not? Okay, it does, yeah. I think that, yeah, it did. Yeah, as expected, does not work. Dang it. All right, so I'm going to disassemble this. Get the things back and uh, maybe uh, I would have to rearrange this a bit. This is my, yeah, that's that. All right, I'm gonna have to actually think about this because um, I kind of had it backlogged here, but um, if I put it in the large chemical reactor, it's going to keep running. So I got to figure out like how I want, like this isn't going to work on this one because obviously if it's turning it off, it won't work. Um, all right, so that I'm going to have to think about, which uh, that sucks. Um, let me just do that and pull this out. But uh, hopefully, I guess I'll just, man, I really don't want to use that recipe because the Mericeum is a pain in the butt. Because I need the, uh, the reactor for that. Yeah, I guess we'll just, I'm assuming I can, yeah, I'll just disassemble that. Although, why am I doing that? I could have just used it <laughs> instead of the LEV one that I just fixed all that thing. Maybe I'll put it back together. Um, no, but I got to figure that out. Anyway, let me wait till this is almost done here. We're just 14 more ingots and we should be good. And finally, we are back. And uh, this took quite a while to get. Did I switch these around? I think I switched them around. 
Yeah, there we go. So there's an Aquata Reactor Mark V, the top of the line one. That is uh, really expensive. Those those field generators are no joke. Um, but uh, yeah, I wrote down the growth medium. We need to figure that out um, sooner than later. But let's go ahead and uh, what do we this need? No quadria rods. Dude, that's gonna well. How much? Where it is? Let me think here. So I need, I guess, thirty-two of that. I was like, how much? Oh, I am short on the quadria dust. <laughs> Dang it! One second. I gotta uh, do some enriched dust. Yeah, I gotta send that through the thing. All right, I'm just gonna go with eight and gets four now. That should uh, just get it going. I want to see how fast this uh, goes. Oh, which one did I put rods in? This one. Yeah. Oh, I should have. I'll make a recipe for that. So we got sixteen of those. There we go. Um, and I'm also bringing some cobble stairs so I can put stairs up. Let's see. Might take a second. All right, that wasn't too bad. It was only about 10 seconds, but sure. Yeah, gonna have to put stairs up here because, well, yeah, I guess I'll, I brought the stairs, I'll do it. Um, but really, once this is running, I don't really need to come down here. All right, so probably should have started recording about now. Because this episode's actually getting a bit long. I didn't realize this was actually quite so high. All right, there we go. Walking up Mount Everest here. Let's turn this off. How many hours do I have left in there? Yeah, quite a lot. Um, let's do, yeah, I just want to make sure I don't have anything explode here because that would be bad. front i think that's not the front maybe i'm wrong and there is the ev so 16 to quadrio rods and i don't know how fast this is going to burn through this i have no idea we're kind of like learning this together So I feel like that is not seen. Ooh, all right. So that's a thing. <laughs> yeah, I was a bit worried about the thing. I'm going to have to put a new hatch on it. Um, because it's pulling drilling fluid too fast. Holy cow, but as we can see... <laughs> That's uh, quite a bit. Let's see kind of what we're at with the, the ore. I'm gonna take a second. Come on. There it goes. Uh, wow, I don't even know where it is. Well, it went down here. <laughs> it must be up here somewhere. Because... That uh, doesn't even show where it is, yeah. I don't, no, that's not, these kind of look like it, but I think that's just the ore veins. So uh, I think it's, maybe it's like up here somewhere. Fortunately, it's not very easy. Well, I could like dig through here and kind of see, but uh, the episode's kind of running a bit long here, so I'm probably gonna end it here. Um, there are a couple things that I wanna start getting kind of optimized 
definitely for the base. Um, and I think um, I would like to start looking at the next line of circuits. I know they're quite difficult to make, um, but I need to do some scanning. Uh, I think, uh, what are they like? Bioware, I think they're called. Bio. Yeah, so I gotta scan the neuroprocessing unit and see how crazy this recipe is for these. And uh, maybe take a look at that next episode. And uh, yeah, there's a couple of just optimizations I kind of need to look at for the base. And I think it's definitely time to upgrade my power. Yeah, here we go. So we're, we're coming along here. It's definitely having issues with Lapis, though. I'm pretty sure that's Lapis. And if, is that Lapis? No, maybe not. I have noticed, remember the other, it was like lead or something it would, hadn't gotten. But uh, anyway, so that's cool to see at least. Um, all right, so I'm going to have to add a new pump. And I have no idea what size pump that is. Probably do EV, IV, maybe, probably an IV pump. Why don't we just find out really quick before I wrap up this episode. Yeah, it's only HP. All right, so we'll upgrade that to IV. But anyway, thanks for watching. And have a good one.